Yeah. 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 King Oshan 2002 back at y'all with another video. And as y'all can see, this is my haul video for G-Fest 2022 or 27, I believe. I lost count with the hiatus, but you know, 2022. And uh, without further ado, I'm just going to begin uh, right away. I'm not going to even show the uh, program book or my name tag. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot of other hauls already that have shown the, off the program book by now in their name tags. That's not an important stuff. Y'all came to see the figures and all that. So, let's begin. So first off, I'm gonna start it off with some artwork that I got. So, this right here was done by RagerFan01. Got this from him in the gaming room when he came up to me and gave me this. Really, really dope, man. Y'all go follow him on IG. It's really cool. This is based off of the Final Wars model, so. Really appreciate that, man. And this next thing that I have is from my good boy Ian or Steam Iguana. And uh, this joint is Nightmare Fuel. This is the uh, Burning Space Minion. <laughs> oh man, I remember when he like first made this back in 2019 and now it's an official print. So this is really dope to see. So yeah, thank you, man. Uh, and the last thing that I will show before we get on to the figures, it is this one shirt that I had got, got this for $25, it is a Gamera versus Guile shirt, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, yeah. now, let's get on to the figures, so, I'm not even gonna go in chronological order of what I bought, but this figure just happens to be the first purchase that I made in the deals room. Uh, and I got this from Z and Toys or Greg's Table. I think it was $45 or $40, give or take. I don't remember which one it was. It was between those two though. But got the Bandai Iris, the new one. Yes, $40 or $45. Devontae's favorite monster. Yeah, this joint is pretty dope. I've been meet, I've been meaning to get an Iris figure for quite a long time now, so it's finally great to have one. With me. And uh, to keep it on uh, the Gamera theme, I'll pull out this guy. I got this from uh, the Beast of the East table. It is the Memorial Box uh, Vras for forty dollars. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool figure. Uh so yeah, I'm expanding my Gamera collection. Uh, okay, this guy I got from Half-Baked Fantasies, I believe was the name of the table. That's where uh, Nate from Monstrosities was at. So that's how I oh, was able to identify that table. Got this guy for, I think, $30. I think it was $30. Got the new Bandai Gaios, Super Gaios. Really, really neat figure. Finally got me another Gaios in my collection. So, cool. Put him right there. Uh, where are you? Come on, come out, come out, wherever you are. Where is it? Uh, okay, here he is. Now, this next guy I got at Radioactive Toys. I don't remember the price. I think it was either 20 is anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars. It is the Bandai 8 inch Zegra. Finally got me a Zegra in my collection. So, pretty dope, pretty dope. Now, next up, I got the Bandai Angiris from Vampire Robots for 15 dollars. And I believe this is the Godzilla Island series version, correct me if I'm wrong, or it might be the movie Monster series, but I'm pretty sure it is the, oh yeah, yeah, it's the Godzilla Island series. I looked at the bottom, it said 1998. So yeah, so got it from Mike's table for $15. Now, uh, next up, I got these two on day one. This was a must get uh, for a lot of people in my group. I got these two together simultaneously for $90. And it was the Wymaseth 
purple-eyed variant Kumanga, and the YMSF Minya. Got the Minya for 35, and I got Kumanga for 55. Both really dope figures, and I'm glad to have these. All right. Next up is another figure that I got from uh, Greg's table. It was uh, the Bandai Jamila from the original Ultraman series. Got him for twenty dollars. Been meaning to get this for a while too. I'm glad I have it. Uh, he has some standing props, so I'm gonna put him right there. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, now, next up, I got this guy for I believe sixty-five dollars at Showcase by Kaiju. Finally getting this guy. It's so good to have him. Got the Bandai Natural Arbor. Finally. Been having the Bachelor Adult for years and not having the Larva form. It's just weird. So now I finally got him. So put him right there. Let's get us get, we'll get into the good stuff soon. So watch that. Alright. Uh, another showcase by. I got the 50th Memorial Box. Godzilla source with the ta uh, uh with the card, my bad. Uh for forty dollars. So really dope, really dope. Put him right. Let me fix his legs. Put him right there. Alrighty, alrighty, let's keep this moving. Let's keep this show moving. Now this next guy was a freebie. It was a gift from my boy Kaiju Island. So thank you, man. Thank you. Uh let me pull him out. Uh, he also gave my boys Godzilla and Goji Franklin some stuff too. I already had the other two things, so I had I had got this from him, and it is the uh, 50th Memorial Box 90s Godzilla with the car. Really appreciate this man. Really appreciate that man. This is hella cool. Almost about to complete my Memorial Box set now. So yeah, thank you, man. Really appreciate. It. Now. Uh, these next two figures I got from uh, Beast of the East, and these were in the ten dollar bin. I was looking for a good uh, ten dollar bin, like the whole convention, and they I ain't seen one until like the last day or like Saturday, something like that. But I had got these two same time, and I got the Bandai, the Dorius from Ultraman Cosmos, and Armored Mephilus, uh, about ten dollars each. So. Really cool. Uh, where I'm gonna put him? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put him right here. Yeah. See? yeah. All right. Adding on to my Ultraman collection. And speaking of Ultraman, this figure I've needed to get for a long time, especially after a little incident between he and Goji Franklin and somebody I will not name, but she gave. She had like uh, this whole box of figures in 2018 that like some random fan gave her. And then amongst like the figures in that box was the Tyrant. I wanted the Tyrant. And the next thing you know, when I come back, this man, Goji Franklin, claims the Tyrant as his. So I'm like, oh wow. So he's been telling me about this Tyrant. Oh, I just said the damn figure name. Might as well just show him now. So yeah, got this Bandai Tyrant for uh. $15 at Radioactive Toys. Hella cool figure. Finally got this guy after four years. Uh, so, yeah. And this is gonna be a common theme of this year's G-Fest is retribution payback. Y'all will see. Uh, and this next figure that I got was from Showcase by Kaiju. Uh, adding on to my Bandai Aiden's collection. I got the Bandai 8 inch destroyer for $40. Really, really cool. Glad to have this destroyer in my collection. Alright, let's keep this moving. So, this other figure that I have is from Half Baked Fantasies. Uh, got this guy for $80. It is the Bandai Mechanic Kong. This is another guy that I've been meaning to get for a while, and I'm happy to finally have him. So, I'm gonna put him right there. Alrighty, 
Now, this next guy I got from Zen Toys, $20. They had some really good $20 figures. It is the Bandai Salamandor from the Ultraman Medius line. I've been also meaning to get this. I was gonna buy this before I even got to the convention. Uh, they had it on eBay for like $55. So I'm like, eh, I don't really wanna spend that much before the convention. And then they had it at $20 at uh, Greg's table. So I had a cop. So put them, put them right there. Uh, okay, so now, now we are on to like the final dopest purchases that I got in this room this year. So I'm gonna pull these two out first. I got these two together uh, at, I believe it is House of Monsters. Yes, got this guy, these two in a bundle. And originally, oh, well, you can see it already. I got the theater exclusive GMK uh, King Adore, and I got the theater exclusive the, the theater exclusive GMK Mothra. Now, originally, uh, the, 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 bro, I'm stuttering. the Ghidorah was $95 and the Mothra was like uh, 55. And they uh, gave me a deal for 140, but then they just switched it to like 120. So I really appreciate that, y'all. Thank you for the deal. Uh, I'm putting them, um, put them, um, right there y'all can see that yeah all right now here's the big three figures that i got this year and these are arguably gonna be like my three favorites in my entire collection so first off i'm gonna pull out this guy i got this guy on Sunday. This was my last G Fest purchase of 2022. Got this guy at Radio After Toys for $155. I was gonna get it at uh Zian for $150, but I waited and I was I was just thinking about it, but when I came back there it was gone. So when I went back to Radio After Toys, they had this guy in the back for one one sixty. I get it down to one fifty five. It's the Giga Brain Monster X. Very, very dope figure, man. Very, very dope. One of my first Sofubi figures in my collection. And I am going to get more. I promise you that. Okay. Now, on to the last two. This figure is the definition of retribution for me. Now, I'm just going to tell a quick story. I'm pretty sure most of you who know me know this story. I'm not even gonna name who got this guy before me, but basically we were all planning on getting this figure at G Fest 2018. We were planning it out for like a whole year. He ended up getting it and then he stole it from us basically, right? He ain't saved nobody, nothing else. He just bought it and forgot about everybody else. And then, yeah, yeah. Really messed up, but now I finally have it. Got this guy at 200, uh, got this guy for $270 at Half Baked Fantasies. It is the Forever Series Glitter Godzilla. Hell yeah. Finally, finally got this guy. Gosh. Now, originally I was gonna get the Orochi that was at that table, but it was going for a little too much than I liked, and then I saw this guy right by the Roshi, and when I heard 270, I'm like, all right, it's mine now. So, yeah, right there. It's probably my second favorite figure uh, in this haul. And now, I'm gonna pull out my favorite figure of my haul. Got this guy for $175 at Radioactive Toys. My first Soul Movie figure in my entire collection, and more to come. It is the Marusan Hedora. This joint is so dope, man. I just remember uh, I was walking with Goji Franklin, I believe, and then I saw this guy perched up like on the, one of the top shelves at Radio After Toys, and that, or this figure was just calling my name right aside. Beautiful paint job, man. 
Oh my god, this figure is sexy. Hell, I love this guy. Oh man, this is dope. So yeah, I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him back here. Alright. So this is my G Fest 2022 haul. So yeah, this concludes my G Fest 2022 haul video. Let me just briefly show off everything again. All the good stuff that I got. I'm very, very proud of myself for what I got this year. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. King Ghost Fan 2002, out of here, man.